All right, so I put a couple of brand new tires on the front of the van because it really needed it bad. And then uh, hopefully, hopefully what I'll do is in a couple of like a week or two, get another paycheck, whatever. I'll put put some new ones on the back because they are about bald and it's getting into snow season. So, but <laughs> my tires look really bad. So what I'm doing is I've come to H&M Transmission. Uh, uh, he ended up, the, the guy here ended up buying the engine and transmission out of the fire turd, the uh, Pontiac 400. So what I'm doing is I decided that because he wanted the, the hood and the shaker from the fire turd and I plan on putting a turbocharger sticking out of the hood anyways he has a firebird that has just a regular flat hood like an esprit and so that gives I figured that gives me a blank slate to kind of set up a hood scoop any way I want to so I decided what the heck I trade him the uh, the hood and the shaker air cleaner all to go with that 400 and all that and then I take you know trade him for the flat hood and then uh, I, he's throwing in a shift kit for me for the 4L 80E that I have and so I'll rebuild the 4L 80E and get it ready to go on a project so yeah, so that's what I'm doing. Nothing big deal. He uh, had to run home real quick to take the hood off of the car so that we could trade. And uh, he'll be back in a few minutes, but I decided I'd just make a quick video of what I'm doing. And uh, that way I can let you all in and know what's going on. And then you won't wonder why I've got just a regular old flat hood on a fire turret anymore. So, but I'm, I'm thinking a scoop. Uh, kind of like a, a bubble or a scoop over on the, the passenger side where the turbo will be uh, Kind of up in the hood area and then that way That'll give it a good look I wasn't sure how it would look with a scoop and a shaker but uh, I don't know. We'll see So the deed is done I got Transgo shift kit for the 4L80 and I've got a flat head to go on the fire turd and uh, yep so the deed is done it's a good day and I've got more stuff out of my way and more projects to do uh, projects to finish now I just need to get that old 5.3 out of the fire turd get it torn down get a tear down video on that and why you don't do what I did and ruin your motor with a $10 can of paint so anyways I'm gonna drive back home now hopefully the traffic isn't horrible I think I might even take the back roads home so we will see you in the next segment all right so I got home set the uh, Set the new hood on the Trans Am. I don't think that looks too bad. I'm gonna. I got the Transgo kit for the 4L80, 85E, 9108. So that's the big kit he got me. Thank you very much. So that turbo should come out. I think it's gonna be somewhere right up in this area. I'm thinking so I'm thinking I'm thinking if I take and I make you know two hood scoops two hood scoops kind of like a formula firebird and I over exaggerate them I can bring them all the way up front with a big basically a big scoop maybe wider than original you know and give me enough height 
that that uh, T3, T4 turbo will just sit underneath it and then I can make a second one on this side. Have that uh, a formula style look on the hood. You know, uh, I think that'll look good. And trading off the other hood for this one kind of gives me a blank slate for doing that with. And this hood is actually in really good shape it's kind of rusted and whatnot but it's actually in really good shape so yep i think this weekend i'll be finishing pulling this motor out of here out of the trans am and then what i'll do is i want to i think i want to gap the rings on this this motor here so that they're boost ready and i'm thinking about putting a set of ARP rod bolts in it just because and so I'll be doing all that I think this weekend getting on that and then I'm gonna pull the I'm gonna pull the messed up engine out and I'm gonna show you all the carnage I'll have a video of all the carnage and why you don't do what I did with it and so that's what's gonna happen this weekend I think like, subscribe, share, and uh, I'll see you on the next one.